The closer you look, the less you'll see. Hey, this is Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Picks Flicks, and I'm at the premiere of the movie Now You See Me. In the movie, four magicians pull off an impossible heist. Let's find out more about the magic from the stars on the red carpet. Hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm 13. And the tagline of this movie is the closer you look, the less you'll see. So when people look at you, what's something they don't see about you? Wow, listen, when you first said that you were from a kid's thing, I thought your question was not going to be interesting. You asked me the most difficult question I've ever been asked since I took the SATs. Yeah. So um, what do people not see about me? Yeah, when they look at you, what's something that they don't, yeah, they don't really know? I did the Conan O'Brien show yesterday, you know what that, you know, and um, there was like a guy who came down who writes on the show that said he does an impression of me, and he did the impression of me, and it was like, you know, it was cute, you know, and it was good, he's like a good comedian, um, but like, you know, I was thinking like, oh, when somebody like looks at you, they see like a very small part of you, you know, and it was kind of strange to see like somebody do an impression of what they think they see of me, and so I don't know, what don't they see of me, I don't know, but, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess everybody filters people through their own selves. I think what people don't see about me is uh, maybe that, uh, you know, a lot of the roles I played recently, I, I play kind of the jerk and kind of a mean guy, and I swear to God, that's not who I am, you know? And so... I don't know. I hope people start to. Uh, I hope I get some roles that start to show like my some of my my real personality traits, and uh, I hope I start to get like uh, roles that are slightly more likable. So maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got a while. Uh, um, I uh, I um, well, I have a lot of doubts. <laughs> I have a lot of insecurities. What does magic mean to you? Well, hmm. I guess magic, in a way, like after doing this movie, I realized like, uh, you know, magicians kind of um, practice uh, so much to create a kind of feeling of mystery and mystique, and that's a really nice thing to feel. And I guess, you know, mm, uh, it's nice to kind of have that feeling. When I would perform magic for people, I would tell them what I was doing and give away the secret, and then I realized people don't want to know that. People actually want to be amazed. Magic means it's deception and bewilderment type to me, you know, getting that inner child out again. So, uh, you know, I still like to be, you know, confused at what I'm seeing through magic, and I think everybody does. I mean, magic is the most important thing for me, and that's the reason why I'm a filmmaker. That's the reason why I want to wow people when they go see a movie. For me, the movie experience is a magical experience. Um, well, I believe in wonder and awe. And that's magic to me. And um, I think the more awestruck you can be in your life, um, the more magic you have and the more expansive your mind becomes. And um, so magic is, the, um, is what aws was, was awesome in life. Whether it's nature or it's technology or it's beautiful poetry or music or art or, or what have you, whatever you find awe in. And what's the most magical thing that has ever happened to you? Probably, ultimately, my wife and my family. Ever? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to say the most magical thing that's ever happened to me is sneaking my way into this movie. <laughs> Look at the rest of the cast. They're amazing. What the hell am I doing in this movie? <laughs> And uh, in the movie, the four magicians, they have their own uh, talent. For example, there's the showman, there's the escape artist, the sleight of hand, and the mind reader. So if you could be one of the magicians, which one would you be? Probably the showman. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little more showier type, you know. Um, all the o I wish I could be all of them, to be honest with you. <laughs> but you'd be the super magician. The super magician, yeah. I like the mentalist. I think that's the funnest part. Reading people's minds. Yeah, and I like... Reading my mind right now. I wish I could. <laughs> um, I think I'm the illusionist. I think I'm the one that does all the big illusions, that does, you know, that flies around, that just creates the big thing. No, I'm, not the show, I'm not a showman at all. I'm the guy behind the camera. I'm the guy that sort of like puts together the, 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 the big tricks, you know. And I'm not a mentalist. I'm, you know, I don't like to play with people's minds, but I like, to, I like to amaze. I would be uh, Woody Harrelson's character, Merit. Uh, the, the ability to read minds. 
you know, because you, then I could say, am I having a good interview or am I having a bad interview? And then I could read your great interview. It's great. Mine, and I could know where I'm going, and I could know what the next question is. It comes out May 31st. You know, I could do all that kind of stuff and have fun. So that would be the one I would want to do. Although the stars are leaving the red carpet, the magic has just begun. Catch Now You See Me in theaters May 31st. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Picks Flicks.